a pandemic drone to remotely monitor and detect people with infectious respiratory conditions is being developed by the University of South Australia in partnership with a Canadian company. We are experiencing difficult times these days. We are seeing that even in the hardest times, there are people out there who are working hard to try to help and support the cause. This is the case of Professor Yavan Chal, the Defense Chair of Sensor Systems in the University of South Australia, commanding his team partnering up with Dragonfly INC, a Canadian drone technology company. And this time they are developing something that caught my attention immediately and it's not just about a drone carrying a thermal camera. We have contacted them and they kindly answered super fast thanking us and delivering us some more information and footage. Let me put you into perspective. Professor Chal, working alongside Dr. Ali Al Naji and Asanka Pereira, achieved global recognition in 2017 when they demonstrated image processing algorithms that could extract a human's heart rate from drone video. Since then, they have demonstrated that heart rate and breathing rate can be measured with high accuracy within 5 to 10 meters of people using drones and at distances of up to 50 meters with fixed cameras. They have also developed algorithms that can interpret human actions such as sneezing and coughing. Here are some examples on how the drone detects whether someone is coughing. The drone they are working on now will be fitted with a specialized sensor and computer vision systems that can monitor temperature, heart and respiratory rates, as well as detect people sneezing and coughing in crowds, offices, airports, cruise ships, aged care homes and other places where groups of people may work or congregate. Professor Chal says the technology could be a viable screening tool for the COVID-19 pandemic and I quote, it might not detect all cases but it could be a reliable tool to detect the presence of the disease in the place or in a group of people. Here are some examples on how detailed the drone cameras work and how they have developed the algorithms that detect these symptoms. It's just amazing. Professor Charles says the technology was originally developed for war zones and natural disaster as well as remotely monitoring heart rates of premature babies in incubators. Now shockingly we see a need for its use immediately to help save lives in the biggest health catastrophe the world has experienced in the past 100 years. Dragonfly CEO Cameron Chell says his company will use its sensor, software and engineering expertise to work with UNSA to integrate and deploy for government, medical and commercial customers. We are honored to work on such an important project given the current pandemic facing the world with COVID-19. Health and respiratory monitoring will be vital not only for detection but also to understand health trends, Mr. Chell says. We will follow the story very closely and report you on any news regarding this matter. I will also leave you contact and email addresses down below in case you can you know help or contact them in this we must stay together and strong keep safe guys and see you soon